365 days, 365 messages God has in store for us. You've got mail from God, written by Edgar Redondo Ramirez. Come and join us. Let us see what God has in store for us today. Today is September 29th, 2022. And the title of our devotional is The Armor of God. The scripture reading can be found in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. And it says, Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The Roman Empire controlled the world much longer than any other great empires. Armies of legionnaires were key to this great achievement. These armies were essentially human combat machines. Its troops rose to become the most effective military force in history. It was a professional army made up of well-trained and disciplined soldiers, but its success in war was ascribed to its armor. In fact, the Apostle Paul used Roman armor to illustrate the spiritual equipment that Christian needs to be successful in his or her fight against the devil. God offers us armor that he himself makes effective and tells us through the apostle that it is important to put it all on, to use it completely. Victory in spiritual combat cannot be a reality if we selectively use some elements, those with which we feel most comfortable and discard those that makes us uncomfortable. The elements described by Paul can be divided into two categories. Defensive, such as the belt of truth, that is nothing more than clinging to the gospel truth, and that truth is Christ. The armor of righteousness, which refer to one of the most important requirements of the believer. Holiness, the footwear of the gospel, which symbolizes the firmness of the Christian. The shield of faith, which is a weapon of defense and protection for the believer. And the helmet of salvation, which covers our head and defends us from doubts and negative thoughts. Since the great battle of the Christian are fought in the mind. The second category is made up of the attack weapon, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, the Bible. It is vital that the Christian know the Word of God so that he or she may attack the enemy when the evil day arrives, that he or she may know how to use the truth of the Word to defeat the enemy just as Christian did in the wilderness. Today you need to cover yourself with God's armor. He says to you, I have put everything necessary at your disposal for you to emerge victorious in the face of evil. Get ready today. Amen.